Hello everyone, this is Pete Meyer again, uh, Motor Age Magazine with another edition of In the Workshop. You know, January is our hybrid issue and uh, we tend to talk a lot about, about the OE platforms associated with hybrid technology, but something you guys may not be familiar with is uh, a lot of companies out there that are converting uh, conventional platforms to hybrid. One of those companies is XL Hybrids. And here with me today is the Vice President of Sales for XL Hybrids, Jay Sandler. Jay, how are you today? I'm great, Peter. How are you? Uh, so, with, again, the subject is hybrids there, Jay. I'm going to kind of leave the floor open. Give us an overview of XL Hybrids, uh, what you guys do, and, and uh, tell us a little about, uh, about some of the projects you have going on. Okay, great. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, XL Hybrid is about a five-year-old company based in, in uh, Boston, Massachusetts. It was founded by... Uh, alumni of MIT, uh, some, some guys who had been in the energy sector and working in energy-related companies, and, and saw an opportunity to uh, to look at putting applying hybrid technology to commercial vehicles. Uh, and we introduced a product to the market uh, earlier this year uh, that had been in development for uh, for about four years, uh, and that uh, we're currently building a parallel electric hybrid system and installing it on uh, Chevrolet Express vans, GMC Savannah vans, as well as Ford Economine vans. Um, so the, the typical vehicle you see uh, with an electrician or, or, or a plumber or a service vehicle used by uh, you know, any number of electric utilities, along with vehicles that are doing deliveries from FedEx and, and other companies such as that, the typical, uh, you see on the street every day, cargo vans. We install the system on the vehicle either when the vehicle is new before it's delivered to the customer uh, on a ship through basis uh, with our partners Napide and our other partner Liggett and Platt. Um, or we can also do retrofits. We can install them on existing vehicles in, in, in customer suites. Uh, anything that's 2010 or newer, basically, we can, we can install on, uh, on those, those platforms today. What the system does, basically, is it allows, we, we mount an electric motor to the back of the transmission, and that electric motor acts as a retarder when the vehicle is slowing down to aid in the braking and act, act as a generator. Um, that generator produce, takes kinetic energy that the vehicle has produced going down the road and turns it into electrical energy as it's slowing the vehicle and it gets stored in a lithium-ion battery that's mounted in the area where the spare tire normally is located. It's a fairly small lithium-ion battery made by Johnson Controls in Michigan. It's about the size of a roll-on suitcase that you would take on an airplane. Hmm. It weighs about 100 pounds. Um, and so it stores that energy that's captured from helping slow the vehicle down by regenerative braking, you know, acting as a retarder. And then when you go to accelerate again, when you put it back in the accelerator pedal, the electric motor switches from a generator mode to an actual electric motor mode, and it applies torque to the output shaft of the transmission, so the engine isn't having to work nearly as hard to accelerate the vehicle, thus using a lot less fuel in its acceleration mode. Mm -hmm. The system works very well between 5 and about 50 miles an hour, so every time you accelerate, you get boost from the battery. Every time you decelerate, you use the, the motor generator to help slow the vehicle and recharge the battery. And you keep swapping power back and forth. We end up with a, a 20 to 25 percent improvement in miles per gallon. And at the same time, the driver really doesn't even notice it. It's very transparent in the background. There's no lights or buttons or switches or anything that the driver sees. It's really, it's there, but he doesn't really know it. You don't drive the vehicle any different. Uh, it, it, it actually makes the vehicle quite a bit peppier to accelerate. Sure. It makes the vehicle have, have better brakes because now you not have just friction brakes, but you have regenerative brakes, or so retarder. Um, so the brake life doubles typically, as we see with our customers, because you're not using the friction brakes nearly as much. Um, and like I said, the fuel economy it improves in the range of 20 to 25 um, percent. It's a very simple system. It takes about six man hours to install it, hmm. um, and um, we've been quite successful with it. Today, as, as I said, we're on those those you know cargo van platforms, 
Um, in the first quarter of 14, we'll be releasing the product toward the end of the first quarter of 14. We'll be releasing it on shuttle buses, on the, on the cutaway version of those vans, a little heavier gross vehicle weight. If you, you, know, you don't go to the airport, you see a typical sure. parking lot shuttle bus or you know Marriott shuttle bus. Or, sure. Um, so we'll be, we'll be applying them to those. Uh, we're working with some of the, uh, the Asian manufacturers of, of, of uh, cab over trucks, um, small cab over trucks that you typically see, see running around cities. Right. And uh, we'll, we'll keep expanding this product line you know, further and further onto to more and more platforms. It, it adapts quite you know, quite easily once you have the basic architecture done. It's a matter of mechanical adaptation and a little bit of software to them. Um, and we've had uh, some very good success with some major customers. Uh, FedEx is, is, uh, has bought a significant number of units. We just finished installing 100 units on Coca-Cola. Uh, vans that are used to service service uh, soda fountains at places like you know McDonald's and restaurants and sure. uh, uh, we're, we Pepsi uh, Pepsi Cola is also doing the same thing. We, we just had a large order from them, and a number of the telecoms and cable companies are, are, are in talks with them, and we'll be doing installations after the first of the year. So um, it's a very simple system. It's, it's very straightforward. It requires no driver training. Just hand the driver the keys and say. Will drive your vehicle just like sure. it did before. Sure. You know, it's kind of interesting because uh, when you're describing how the system functions, I couldn't help but thinking of, of some stuff that we had done last year with Audi uh, in our racing issue, talking about the e-tron Quattro, which is is using a, a hybrid addition to the drive line, not too dissimilar to what you've been discussing. Right. Uh, of course, they're applying it to the to the front wheels. Uh, but the idea is the same. It's it's a fairly small battery pack, small electric motor. Um, doesn't provide idle stop like many of us are used to with some of the OEM you know offerings. Um, but it, it provides that uh, that regenerative braking, uh, like you discussed. So that saves wear and tear on on the braking uh, system and the especially the pads, right, um, and the linings, and also provides that that uh, off acceleration. Boost to get, especially a heavily heavily loaded you know, transport vehicle, whether it's for FedEx or it's a shuttle bus, you know, as, you, as you point out, down at the airport, um, to get that thing rolling where most of the demand for that the gas is. I mean, cruising down the highway is the is the least amount of, of effort for these vehicles. It's that around town stop and go stuff that that's killer. Uh, now the, the lines that you're de developing here, you mentioned some of the ones, you know, Pepsi and Coca Cola and, and FedEx and others. Uh, are you guys doing all the installations to yourself, or do you have a network of um, of a people that are, are doing the installations under your guidance? Look, t today, uh, Pete, we're on. As I said, we're on cargo vans. And we're, we're just growing the the, the breadth of, of our installation. We have two partners today that uh, do a lot of upfitting on vans as they come out of the GM factory in Wentzville. Missouri and also the Ford factory in Avon Lake, Ohio, uh, and that's Napide, who you're probably familiar with. They make a lot of service bodies and truck bodies, mm -hmm. uh, and also Liggett & Platt, who does a, a lot of van interior work and graphics and, and things like that. Both of those have what's called ship-through programs, where the vehicle stops uh, in the process. It's, it's produced at the, at the factory, goes to the upfitter, uh, and it's handled by the, by the vehicle manufacturer. Any of the upfitting is done, again, interior packages, ladder racks, uh, things like that are put on. At the same time, they install our hybrid system. It goes back into the Ford or GM transportation system, and it gets delivered to the dealer um, just like it came from the factory. So sure. working with those two major upfitters, Liggett and Platt and Napide, and we also they have regional facilities all over the country. And as we grow, we'll start working with, you know, with, with OEM dealers as well and installing it at and especially for retrofits, uh, we'll be installing them in, in uh, at Ford and, and Chevrolet and, and, and other brand dealers as we uh, as we do more retrofit. Um, geez, I just had like a little little main. Uh, you are you are totally correct, by the way, in, in your comment that you know the system really provides its best value in stop and go, and and it doesn't have to be you know. Bumper to bumper traffic stop and go. We, we right. say that it works great in, in urban suburban kind of applications and running on you know uh, streets in a suburban area where you you know where you're accelerating from 20 to 40 and 
breaking from 40 to, to 20 and you know in, in a typical you know suburb around a shopping mall kind of thing sure. perfect environment but when you get on the highway and you're running the constant 70 miles an hour it it just goes to sleep it doesn't it doesn't contribute at that point because you're not transferring kinetic energy back and forth you just right. it's steady state Right. Now, I mean, what do you see as the future for these platforms, Jay? I mean, uh, of course, you're, you're kind of focused on the on the, on the uh, medium duty you know, side here, I guess you could call it. Uh, do you see yeah. this technology with your company growing in the future to be uh, retro to, uh, say, some of the passenger cars that are out on the market? Uh, you know, the technology could be applied to a passenger car, uh, but what we have found is uh, it is uh, there's much more interest in a system like this amongst commercial fleets. Sure. Uh, we, we don't have some of the some of the features that some of the passenger car systems have today. As you mentioned earlier, Pete, we don't have engine off at idle. We don't have an EV mode where we we, we start from a dead stop up to right. 15 or 20 or 30 miles an hour with the engine off. And and the reason for that is is, is frankly you don't save a lot of energy. By not running the engine at idle and not running the engine during acceleration uh, in the background while the while the electric motor is doing most of the acceleration, right. uh, but it's it, in a consumer vehicle. It's a nice feature that people feel good about because they paid a lot of money for a hybrid vehicle and they wanted to do something different and want their friends to see it do something different. Sure. The problem is it costs a lot of money to do that. You have to have auxiliary power steering systems or electric power steering and electric air conditioning and all yeah, the auxiliaries. Sure. Mm -hmm. And, and by doing that, you take the price of the system and you raise it significantly, and you also increase the technical complexity of the system. Sure. Um, a few years back, I, I was vice president of sales for a, a large hybrid company that, that, that unfortunately didn't make it through the uh, economic crisis. But uh, our system had all those features in, in commercial trucks, but it was five times the cost of the system sure. we build at, 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 at XO Hybrid today. And, and the reaction we get from our customers is, boy, it's really nice to be able to see something. It's very affordable. It's a great return on investment, and it doesn't require any government incentives. Sure. Uh, and, and so, you know, the passenger car side, the consumer side, people want features. People want, want uh, you know, things that are going to make it look different and, 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 and operate different and sound different so that they feel good for the money they spent. Commercial truck fleets don't care about that. All they want to do is save money. Oh, absolutely, sure, and they're spending a ton of it on fuel, you know, so I get that. Right. Um, so if we do have any of those guys who happen to catch our little talk, either in the Auto Pro Workshop at MotorAge.com or, uh, or on our YouTube channel, uh, where can they go to get some more information on uh, how XL Hybrid might be able to help them save some money on their fuel costs? Well, I would say the best, first, first best place to go is to our website, which is XLHybrids.com. There's a lot of information about the product on the website, including my contact information. And so, if they, if, as they go through the website, if they, uh, if they feel they want more information, um, there is a place to contact us screen that will get you directly to my email, and I'd be happy to talk with them and see whether there's something we can do to help them. All right. Well, that's awesome, Jay. I'll make sure that we include all that information as always, you know, in the tags of our uh, uh, video here. I do want to take the time again to thank you for spending the this afternoon with me and sharing you know what XL Hybrids does and uh, wish you the best of uh, best of success well thank you we appreciate the opportunity to talk about our product we're, we're very proud of it and we think it can really help our customers reduce their operating costs at, uh, in a very simple way so the more people become aware of it I think it just it just helps uh, reduce our dependency on foreign petroleum and, and, and our emissions that, that naturally come from burning more petroleum so Sure. Thanks for the opportunity. Call us anytime. We'd love to participate in, in future uh, future uh, sessions.